<laughs> Are you in your third trimester? Is your doctor recommended you a non-stress test? And you're wondering what is this non-stress test? Well, stay tuned, I'm going to talk more on this. Hi mommies, daddies and to be parents, welcome to my channel on parenting. This is a one-stop shop for all your parenting needs. From tips on how to deal with fuzzy baby, to advice on potty training, to how to raise a happy child. Well, subscribe now and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Moving on. I'm 37 weeks pregnant and I'm going right now for my NST test. As I mentioned before, uh, that my doctor asked me to do the NST uh, twice a week till the time of delivery. And uh, so today I'm having the NST and after two days again I have to go for NST. What is non-stress testing during pregnancy? Non-stress stress is a fetal assessment which is performed during third trimester. This test is done to monitor a baby's heart rate and movement before the labor. This test is also known as NST. So what is the purpose of this test? This test is done to check the baby's heart rate in response to baby's movement which helps to determine whether the baby is getting enough oxygen or not which also helps to assist the baby's overall well-being. This test is done in the hospital or in the clinic which usually takes around 20 to 30 minutes to complete. Does everybody get a non-stress test during pregnancy? Well, usually your gynecologist will determine whether to recommend this test to you based on your health condition. There are certain criteria based on which the gynecologist decide to do this test. For example, uh, if you have a low amniotic fluid or baby's uh, movement is less or you have complication in your previous pregnancy or you are Rh negative or you have medical conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure or you are over the age of 35 years. So based on your medical condition and your health, they will determine whether to conduct this test or not. As well as they will explain the reasons behind this test. Is the NST painful? No. This is a very simple test. During this test, no stress is given to your baby. That's why it's called a non-stress test. Uh, there is no radiation involved uh, during this test. It's a very low risk test and uh, if baby shows a sign of distress then doctor will investigate further so most cases however uh, this test is considered as a routine part of a pregnancy care and uh, which helps to ensure that the baby and mother are safe and healthy how long nst takes the nurse will monitor your baby's heart rate and movement for at least 20 to 30 minutes to make sure that everything is all right with your baby. You will be asked to come for this test every week. How do I wake up my baby for this test? Yes, it's absolutely necessary that your baby is wide awake during this test so they can monitor baby's movement. So uh, when I used to go for this test, uh, when my baby is not awake, then a nurse used to give me the chilled water or chocolate to munch on in order to wake up my baby. Some practitioner uses buzzer or noise maker on your abdomen to wake up your baby. No worries, it's not going to hurt your baby. Each doctor has their own ways to help you. What happens during this test? When I was 36 weeks pregnant, my gynecologist recommended me to do this test every week till my due date. So I used to go twice a week for this test in her clinic. After reaching there, nurse used to check my blood pressure. Uh, after that, she used to give me chilled water or chocolates in case my baby is not awake for the test. After that, she used to ask me to sit on a reclining chair and she used to put two monitor on my abdomen. One monitors the baby's heart rate and the other detects fetal movement. She told me to press the button every time I felt the baby move. For this test, I used to go to doctor's office. This device checks the fetal heart rate in response to the baby's own movement called fetal heart variability FHR. In some cases, this test can be done at home but doctor will decide that based on the patient's health condition. So this test used to take approximately 25 to 30 minutes. Meanwhile, the report was getting printed. Uh, and the end of the every test, uh, she used to share with me the test result, how my baby performed during the test. 
There are two main criteria looked at during the NSD. Number one is a baseline fetal heart rate and number two is a baseline fetal response to acceleration that is movement. So the normal range for the fetal heart rate uh, should be between 110 to 160 beats per minute. What if I fail non-stress test during pregnancy? Well, if you are unable to pass the non-stress test, no worries, your doctor will do the further investigation and will conduct even more tests to make sure that both mother and baby are healthy and safe and there will be no complications for your delivery. I hope that this information is useful and now there is no confusion in your mind related to this test. So in which way your doctor recommended non-stress test to you, let me know in comments down below and check out my pregnancy week by week update. I mentioned the link for the same in the description box below. I would love to hear your feedback. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. So don't forget to hit that like button, share and subscribe and subscription is absolutely free. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get the latest update from my channel. See you soon.